Hey guys, Eric Energy here. It's my job to show you some of the coolest science experiments you've ever seen. Today I've got my assistant Lightning Levi, and we're gonna to talk to you about polymers, specifically polymer balls. You might know them better as Orbeez, or you might have gotten some from an Eric Energy birthday party, but what are these little tiny pieces of plastic? They're really, really cool, long-chained molecules. They're made of long chains and they're just kind of hanging out, but when you put them in liquid, those long chains get a little bigger and bigger and bigger until they soak up 300% their size in liquid. As you can see, we've got two polymer balls here. They started off as the same size, but this one obviously has been soaking in water for 24 hours and has grown to a much bigger size. If we leave this out for 24 hours, it'll go back to its original size. What were they invented for? They were invented for farmers. Farmers take big barrels of polymer balls. When the rain is plentiful, they'll fill the polymer balls up with water and they'll put it away uh, for safekeeping. When there's a drought, when there's not enough water, they can take out their full polymer balls, bury them into the ground, and they'll help to water their crops and get them through the drought. So let's do some experiments. First, I've got this glass. I filled it with a whole bunch of polymer balls that I soaked overnight. And uh, can you see anything else in this glass, Lightning Levi? Nope. Well, hold on to this glass. Let's take a little bit of water. <clears throat> polymer balls are 99.9% .9 water. So when they're in a glass filled with water. Oh my gosh, it's a Darth Vader and Stormtrooper minifigure. You can see that we put a couple of guys inside of this glass. Another experiment you can do with your polymer balls happens in the kitchen. You're going to need a grown-up to uh, help you supervise this experiment because we're using the stove. Remember, make sure you have a grown-up before you use the stove. You're going to need a frying pan. Then you take your frying pan, put it on the burner on high, and then take one of your polymer balls and just drop it in, see what happens. You hear that popping? You see it jumping? It's happening because of the Leiden frost effect. What's the Leiden frost effect? It says an object that has a liquid exterior, if it gets heated up, it creates steam. That steam creates a pocket of air that goes between the polymer ball and the hot surface, surface so that it makes sure it jumps like that. Now let's add some friends. Everybody's jumping together. Yet another experiment you can do with your polymer balls is you can experiment with different types of liquids. We've got four types of liquids right here. We've got a cup of water in each and we added some additives to it. The first one is plain old water. We put a regular polymer ball, started off at that size, and now after 24 hours of soaking it, we have now this size. Then we took a little bit of sugar water. We put a table uh, teaspoon of sugar inside of a cup of water and it comes out like this. Lightning Levi, do you see any difference? Uh, the sugar water is a little bit smaller. It becomes a little bit smaller because the sugar prevents all of the water from going into the polymer ball, so it gets a little bit smaller. Then take a look at what happens when we put salt in the water. A teaspoon of salt and a cup of water and the result is this even smaller because the salt really prevents the majority of the water from going into the polymer ball. Then we've got some food coloring here. We took uh, red and blue and we uh, made purple and now all of our polymer balls come out, those small polymer balls come out with a purple tint. But the coolest part about them is that when you dry out a polymer ball, when it goes back to that size except these purple ones go back tint on the piece of plastic. Now you can be the scientist, you can uh, experiment with freezing the polymer balls, you can experiment with using soda, uh, using uh, scented water. Uh, you are the scientist and you decide what you want to do with those polymer balls. Mm -hmm.